Watchmen has always been synonymous with controversy. I mean, when I think back to that lens of nostalgia and my first reading, I recollect why. It was because we had something that wasn't run-of-the-mill. It was a product that went above and beyond. It shattered all of the stereotypes. It looked at heroes, and when it looked at them and put them under a microscope, none of us looked at them again the same. Instead of going out and doing the super heroic, we had people out there that were people. We had horrible human beings mixed in. We had some good, we had some bad, and we had some really bad. And then the question of supervillain, oh yeah. But the show here, now when you look at this, it seems to have forgotten exactly why something was controversial, why something wasn't run-of-the-mill, by becoming run-of-the-mill. So hey there, so today I want to return to that wonderful world of media where we talk once again about a show and, well, not defying expectations in the least. Now, if you look at the scores for this right now, you have an audience score that keeps plummeting as more and more people sound off on it. Of course, the critics, they look exactly the same. And remembering here, with scores, these are people that rate something 3.5 or higher. So it's not really a huge bar to set to get this. I mean, I think that says something about it. Now, reading some of the headlines coming from the directors and coming from other places... I know exactly what type of product they were aiming for. I knew that before, in fact, when they started talking about the show and exactly what it would be. They told us they didn't want to make a run-of-the-mill show. They didn't want to set it in the 1980s and make that show that you would recognize. Oh no, they wanted to make a different Watchmen use the same name. But of course, when they say that, they mean they want to make a different type of soapbox. You can see it here, too. I mean, look at this headline. HBO's Watchmen director shares how being from Charlottesville made the series incredibly personal and her thoughts on a season two. So right off the bat, you're told, hey, we took the Watchmen name. We turned it into something that was quote-unquote incredibly personal for the director there. And of course, in getting that, you had to change up everything about the show. That's really what I found to be unlikable about this too. We start off with lessons about ism. We, of course, were hearing about quote-unquote serving up the MAGA crowd. I mean, that's what I really want in my television. I want to hear about how you're aiming another product at specific people because of, well, the way that they vote. And the rest of us, we have to suffer through it because, hey, you know, you're really owning those folks. Fun times there. Fun times, huh? So when you look at the scores, yeah, you're getting the same old thing that you want, you know, because, of course, you want that division, right? You want to have 93% sounding off one way and, well, like I said, 49% and dropping. Some of these, they're really kind of funny, too. I mean, when you go through here and you read some of this, you see words like, this is going to prove controversial to some because it embraces the spirit of the original comic with its stylish cynicism while attempting to erect a new organizing principle all its own, which will prove controversial to some. Hmm, fun times there. It's a world made deliberately strange to offer more incisive comments on the bizarre mythologies of our own timeline, not of the Watchmen's timeline, which is what made the original Watchmen so special. It's a dense, odd thriller and thoughtful, and it's uh, much closer to Westworld's head-spinning sci-fi complexity than the colorful comic book action of Marvel. So, you know, hey, you know that product that you enjoyed? You know, the one that you tuned in for? Well, it's a little bit closer to, say, Westworld than it's actually to that product. You like that, right? That's exactly what you want. You even have reviews in here that talk about things like this. I have no idea where it's going. You know, I don't really know what exactly is happening here, but I want to see where how it gets there or see it get there. Man, I mean, when you see that, you watch the show. You say, hey, I don't know exactly where that's going to go, but hey, you know, I have high hopes because I'm still confused. That sounds like a great review, doesn't it? Makes you want to watch there. Now, when I look at the audience, 
I notice a lot of division here, too. This show has nothing to do with Watchmen. I definitely agree with that. That was the huge issue for me. I sat through this, and I kept thinking, okay, we're finally going to get to that point about Watchmen, or at least I hoped so. I mean, again, I had read the headlines. I'd seen exactly what's going to come up. But, you know, there's always hope out there, right? Always hope. Yeah, I'll dash against the rocks. Wolkman. We're done here. That's about right, too. Nothing but a race-baiting mess. I'm extremely offended by this series and hope it gets pulled before it harms more people. It's going to harm us all. Oh, no. Hot garbage on a stick. Terrible show. Skip this one. And you notice I'm looking at uh, different things here. I do like the To the people who are complaining that the show is too political, TWO, I have three things to say. Number one, the source of the material of the show is equally political. I mean, that's true. It is very much political. Since uh, when is white supremacy? Terrorism politics. It's effing terrorism. Literally every show on HBO is political. Now then, I thought the show was wonderful. So look at this. Even the politics, it, it comes out and some people are like, yeah, that show, it was political. And yes, indeed, it was. I mean, if you go back and you look at it, especially in adulthood, you can see something that encapsulates, well, a story from its time, and yet it's told in a way that doesn't hit people over the head. This, yeah, you can tell. It takes out the electum. It decides that it's going to give you a lecture. Hmm, a little bit different. But then you see what's being fought here. Oh, fun times, huh? Since when is? It's effing terrible. Terrorism. And literally, every show on HBO is political. So you knew what you should have expected there. Why would you watch it? I mean, why exactly would you watch it? Now, there's a lot of other people that go with that, too. You know, poor take on the comics. Didn't have much excitement going into it. But after watching the first episode, I can safely say this is a pass. That's how I feel, too. You know, of course, it's going to make you istrophobic or something because of specific elements that are dropped in the show just to say that. But hey, terrible, terrible. You know, up, lovely trash there. The show, again, has nothing to do with the Watchmen. As you roll through, you'll see more and more of this. I love the Watchmen film, but I'm staggered this even carries the same name. This is a hateful piece of all white men are evil propaganda. Identity politics riot, running fuel, riot fueled by a blatantly social justice warrior agenda. This story is also confused and very dull. Seems to be a series of scenes that are very loosely connected. I watched most of the first uh, episode, but will watch no more. A shame, as I was looking forward to the series. I think a lot of people feel that way, too. Even if you thought it was going to be bad, well, you know. This is hot garbage. First of all, this is political agenda of Mawap supremacy in an America that is a hoax created to uh, create fear and emotion. Nobody has actually seen a, one of these, quote-unquote, you see how that is, somehow in this propaganda seems they put on masks the cops, and that is not a problem. It sure seems like the cops are anti-white N to the A to the Z to the I's with secret identities and private hospital rooms, etc. In the end, it's a weak story with a lot of, well, you see what kind of violence. But like I say, you look through this stuff, hmm, I would not recommend this show to anyone. You have, like I said, divided audience to it, but... The division here, when people look at it, I think people are tired of more of the same. If you feel that this, again, is something that people are just making up to, I again refer you to exactly what the director says about this being about Charlottesville, about this being incredibly personal, and about this being a vehicle for all of that to go forward. Now, sadly, everybody that sounds off on this, they'll be grouped into something that again says, oh, you're just offended because it's amazing how this cycle it continues to repeat repeat and repeat when if you look at what people are saying out there not all of the people sound the same people tell you this isn't the watchman this is slow it's boring it's all over the place but again the media doesn't care about that they tell you well it's not supposed to be that watchman it's not supposed to be that graphic novel 
then why use that name? When you have people out there that are questioning some of the logic, too, like Rorschach being a symbol of ism, hey, what the heck is going on with that? Yeah, they just tell you, look away, because if you don't, you're an ist. It's amazing how that works and continues to work, and well, as we go forward and we watch the scores come in, it'll be interesting to see the division that this causes, how the season moves forward, and if we get a season two because of all of this stuff at all. I mean, remember, the true insult of this, you have to pay a lot of money to watch it, because yeah, this is HBO too. But, hey, let me know what you think on this. If you like this kind of content, too, make sure you're subbed. You know the drill by now. But also check out the links. We have our book here, Case of the Littlest Umbrella. Check that out if you like it. Make sure you get in there because it's in demand right now, meaning we're working on it. And when it's done, it's done. Leave me your comments on this stuff, pro and con. I'm curious what people think. Did you like the show? Maybe you did. Maybe you totally disagree with me. Leave your comments on it. I'm curious what you think. Thank you, too, for showing up. While all these places out there, they want to basically gaslight and work people up, they forget exactly what makes this stuff work. It's the people that watch it that go out and they make endeavors possible. I want to thank you for making this one possible every time I want to do that and end. So again, thank you. I appreciate you. We'll do this again really soon. Thanks.